Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to be doing a manual swap on the Panther. This is a 1995 Volvo 850 Turbo. Number one, get the car up in the air. We have it totally in the air, four jack stands. You can just get the front off if you want, but we decided to put the whole thing up. So, I'm gonna test my parking brake, maybe replace that cable as well. All right, parking brake on the passenger side is not quite working. And on the driver's side, it's not working at all. So, if we have time, we're gonna do that. If not, I'll do them in a few days. But the back one's not working at all. What we're going to do is break the CV axles loose, take the wheels off so that we can have it prepared to get the CV axles out of the transmission. And we're going to go ahead and drain the transmission first. Transmission drain plug, we're going to go ahead and pop that out to drain the fluid out of the train bolt out of the transmission not as much stuff on that magnet as I thought there'd be so next we're going to go ahead and pull the uh, bolts out of the struts right there and pull the CV axles out the other side of the subframe has to come down quite a bit so okay. I'm taking the control arm loose it's an 18 and a 15 there 18 and a 15 there Got remove it. that Next, I removed the sway bar end link from there. It's a T30 and 15 millimeter. I also unplugged my ABS sensor wire from right here. And you got to take this 19 millimeter bolt off of here and pop this with a sledgehammer to get it to pop loose from there. I had some sway bar bushings, as you can see. My sway bar bushings are shot, so hopefully I brought them with me to replace those. I already knocked this axle loose, so I'm going to pull this control arm out of here, pry it out with a screwdriver, get them to come down, and then I'll be able to get this uh, CV axle out of here. If it won't pop right out, I'll have to pry it out, pop it out. Next, we are supporting the engine because we're going to drop the subframe and we don't want the engine to fall down with it. If you let the engine fall down with it, you got to disconnect all kind of fuel lines and coolant lines and, and engine um, supports and, oh, and all of that stuff and, and your mounts. This way, you don't have to do so much. So, you got to support it through there, right in front of that. Uh, upper torque arm bracket we got to support it over there at the power steering pump ring and we're going to take a little slack out of it before we start lowering the substrate the air tube here push that in remove that then we're going to remove the battery then I'm going to unplug the mass airflow sensor take that clamp loose and remove the air box my upper intercooler turbo pipe loose going through the throttle body then I took this turbo hose loose going down to the bottom of the intercooler I got my battery out I have my air box out uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, turbo tube off that way it'll be out of my way when taking those bolts out of the transmission I'm gonna take my battery tray out I got two 12 millimeters and then the cables being held on by a 10 millimeter. You have your battery tray up. You want to yeah, unplug the plug from your cruise pump so. and pull the vacuum yeah, line off your cruise pump, which is right there. Down. Take well, that just, bolt loose from there. P and P switch and the bracket for the two. I'm going to take those two bolts loose there. Get these cables loose. I'm going to unplug the... Um, yeah, I mean, well, P and P switch cable. Took a couple I bolts out of the transmission up top. 
Okay. I took the bolt loose on top of that mount there. Now I'm coming under the vehicle. I took the transmission torque mount loose. I took the bolt out of the power steering line. So, and now I'm going to hit some bolts around the transmission down here. We're going to lower the subframe. Take the two 14s from there, 18 there, 18 there. Two 14s from there, 18 there, and we're going to take this one down about two inches. So it'll all be hanging from this uh, bolt here. Bring that down so and pull that transmission out of there. I also pulled the motor mount bolt from right there. I believe that was a 15. I took the uh, subframe attachment loose here, took the subframe bolt out there, so, on the other side, I loosened the subframe bolt there, and I took the subframe stuff loose there. We shut it down last night, right before we pulled the trans out, and I have a bolt in the steering column. I need to take that bolt out so that the rack can drop down. Then we should be good to go to try to work this transmission out. I also left the bolts in the front of this mount here. I may pull those. So hopefully we get this rack and this transmission out here lickety split plug that goes to the PNP switch from the auto trans yes and we got to cut all these wires clean what I'd like to do is take take this piece right off okay. I had to break it apart but I tried to save as much wire length as possible right. and we're gonna pull out our four pair that we need and I need, we need to, eight wires uh, no or, two or, pair excuse okay, me two, two pair. pair four our four wires so we already know the color. Uh, I've got a, I've got it over there. I gotta look it up. Disconnected the steering linkage. You really should do that first, and you could tap it apart with an air hammer, or with like a small sledge and a chisel or something. You want to get that apart before you drop your subframe, like I did. You don't want that stuff pulling on the linkage inside the car. It can snap a breakaway pin. Move the bolts from the front mount. That way your subframe will lower low enough to get the transmission out. Now the subframe is low enough. Drop the transmission out. And there is the flywheel there. There she goes, folks. No more auto trans for the Panther. Whack, 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 whack. 12.17 will get them. I have the bolts out, getting ready to pull this out of the way. Have the lower panel out. Then I'm going to take the center console out because we got to do the pedals and all of that jazz and the um, shifter lever. All right, I have the center console area out. I had two screws up there, two screws down there, two screws in the armrest. Pulled them out, put the car in on. And the key got the shifter out of park, out of the way, lifted up out of the way. Now I'm going to disconnect the cables on the shifter. Pry this clip out up like this with the screwdriver and get this cable loose and get this uh, shifter assembly out of the way. You got four screws one, two, three, four bolts, and I should be able to pull that out. Had to pry that clip out. Went well, there with a big crowbar, man. That thing bit me. Ow! Now I'm gonna get these other two bolts out the other side, lift it up, and work out these cables and stuff. Two bolts here, one on this side, one on the other side. Takes this bracket out so you can lift this shifter assembly out. Get that shifter cable assembly out of this shifter. You grab this peg right here, it's, it's a locking pin, and you just pull it straight out. And that will release that cable from there. And now I'll go down here, take the bolts out of the cable there, and I'm gonna pull that through. Get the cable out of there. 
you pull it from under the dash first, get it laying in the floor here, then you pull the one from the outside into the floor here. Now I'm ready to start working on my pedal assembly. So let me pull this down and disconnect my pedal assembly stuff and get the three pedals in. I'm going to unplug these two switches because I believe I have those plugs already in my other pedal assembly. And I'm going to unclip the brake booster arm there. Right there. Unclip that. Now we got a plate where the clutch cylinder is going to go through. So I got to knock that out. It's a knockout plug. Look like it's glued in. Switch there and the two switches there. So I should be good to go. So I'm going to take a couple of those screws out of the brake booster. Leave one in up here real loose. And then I'm going to work on finding the bolts. There's one up there for the pedal assembly. One down there for the pedal assembly. And, and I'll work this out. I have taken the bolts out of the flywheel. Getting ready to pull that. And I'll clean the engine off. So we have a clean mating surface for the transmission, which is critical. And... We got Brendan inside helping. He's pulling the seat so he can help with the pedals. Flywheel off. Inspect your rear main seal. Make sure that thing is dry as a bone. It's a good time to replace it if it's old or you suspect any leaks in it. Now you got to clean off this mating surface of this engine. It needs to be spotless. I replaced the old rotted out engine mount. I'm about to do the same on the back. I have scraped most of the dirt off of the subframe onto Dan's clean floor. Don't tell Dan. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.